You fools. You have trifled with me, but now you will suffer. Pop quiz. Put your books away. <sighs> Do you think Oc developed his finely tuned grumpiness over time? Or was he just born this way? I just think he's still grumpy because Max sent him back to the drawing board on his mechanical arms project. Nah, I'm saying he was born this way. His first words were probably, this diaper design is ineffectual. You two have him all wrong. Out of all the teachers here at Horizon, Otto cares the most about his students. You call this caring? Who are you raised by, a pack of crazed zombie wolves? He's just misunderstood. You guys probably don't know what that's like. I know what it's like to turn in a brilliant prototype for my high-frequency energy reader and have Ock give me a C because it didn't have a cooler name. Ugh, how do I get out of this test? We can always hope for an act of nature. Uh, attention students! Horizon High is experiencing an emergency. Drop everything and follow standard evacuation procedures. What's going on here? Who cares? As long as the quiz is canceled. This only means the quiz is postponed! Well, so much for an act of nature. Organized evacuation's great for safety. Terrible for changing into Spider-Man. You do know Horizon has a front door, reception desk, the whole works, right? And you have to sign in to get a hall pass, Mr... What's your name? Miss Crimson Dynamo. And this is my hall pass! Not what I meant! about this school. Only what it is hiding. Can't we talk about this over scones? Green tea? Borscht? On me. You waste my time. Sure, time's a terrible thing to waste, but you've got no problem wasting doors and ceilings. Enough foolishness. You will impede me no further. This building is harder to breach than I imagined, but every security grid has a weak spot. There! Ugh, even Ox Pop Quiz would have been more fun than this. Ah! Now we're playing hide and seek? You are one weird supervillain. Bet you can't hide from infrared. Wow, good thing that wasn't a real bet can't find her anywhere. Wait, I'm thinking Miles' high-frequency energy reader will do the trick. Boy, that is a mouthful. Ock <sighs> had a point about the name. If you're emitting an energy signal, a little twist of the dial should... Boom! Huh? Running a little low on batteries in our big red armor, aren't we? Whoa, and now I'm picking up a massive high-energy source in the basement? Bet that's what Crimson Dynamite's looking for. Dynamo. And thank you for locating it for me. Finally. Somehow I doubt you have permission to access complex, most likely dangerous machinery. But maybe I'm just being paranoid. I have not come this far to be stopped by a boy in a clown costume. Have you ever seen a clown? I mean, I'm as charming and whimsical as a clown, but there are differences. They have floppy shoes and noses that honk, and they can't do this! Well, maybe they can in Cirque du Spider. What's the point? I'm arguing with someone in second-rate Iron Man armor. My armor is far superior to the work of that imperialist swine, Tony Stark. <laughs> you will hold me back no longer. End of the line! No! My power is drained! Yeah, I noticed you were running a little low when I scanned you earlier. Yeah. That was easier than I thought. Is it safe to come in, Spider-Man? She's drained of power and completely harmless. Thank you very much. How 
are we gonna move that thing? That, I don't know. Is this what she was after? I've never seen this machine before in my life. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but it's emitting really large amounts of energy. A weapon, maybe? Of course it's not a weapon, Dunderhead. It's a revolutionary power generator that utilizes regenerative ion technology. When I am finished, it will change the world. I call it the Riot 3. Regenerative ions? Do you know how volatile that is? Our whole school could implode in a vortex of swirling atoms. In the hands of a lesser mind, yes, but I have taken every precaution. No, dismantle this immediately. <sighs> Maybe we, uh, lift it out of here with a crane? Back a truck in? I want to arrest her, not tow her. Thank you, comrades. Your Elaine Panther provided me the time needed to reboot my system with a small but much needed power reserve. Now get out of the way. I need to fully charge. Looks like somebody doesn't get when they're not wanted. Auto! Get to safety with the others! What you want doesn't matter in the face of the power I will now wield. No, 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 no! You're overloading the transmission conduits, fool! Stop messing with the guy! We gotta find a way to shut it down. Octavius, now is not the time to be checking your emails. I'm doing something much more ingenious. What? What have you done? I remotely expanded the generator's energy shield, entrapping you. I will not be captured. Danger. Mount down in 30 seconds. 29. Thus be done, man spider. Here, have a parting gift. Thanks to my spider tracer, I'll be able to track her down later. Assuming there is a later. 21. Okay, think, Spidey. What do I know about 20. diffusing overloads and regenerative ion tech? 19. It must be... 18. Phew, Rods. 17. If I can take them out, that should avert the 16. overload. You're doing it wrong, 15. Ignoramus! 14. 13. Okay. I've got to get 12. these Rods out before... Ah! Expert work! Oh! 10. Your mechanical arms! But... You fool! Decoupling Seven. the rods in an improper Six. sequence could destroy my generator! Uh, Auto! Let me help Three. you! You don't have to do it Two. alone! I just need more One. time One. to... Ah! We're lucky no students were hurt. I warned him against unsanctioned experiments. You did everything you could, Spider-Man. There's one more thing I can do. Find the criminal responsible! <laughs> Nothing! I thought I perfected this tracer. So how come I've been chasing ghost signals up and down Manhattan for hours? Gwen! How is he? The doctors are with him now. They asked me to wait outside, but he's not exactly in good spirits. Well, that's nothing new. But nearly blowing up the school with your unsanctioned experimental generator can be a real bummer. Blow us up? Crimson Dynamo did that. Dr. Octavius put himself in harm's way to try and save us. He even saved Spider-Man. Saved Spider-Man? Otto was just trying to get him out of the way so he could save his precious machine. Well, of course he wanted to save his machine. And our lives. I know he's not always the nicest guy, but I was there, Peter. I saw it. He intentionally threw Spidey away from danger. Dr. Octavius acted like a hero. Good guy, Otto? I guess that's a possible hypothesis. I can't wait anymore. I've got to get back. But, tell him how grateful we all are. 
Thank you, Doctor, so much for the consult. I of appreciate course. It. Let's continue to monitor his vitals. Uh, hey, Doc. Great to see you looking better. Do not patronize me, Parker. Yeah. Okay. So, what do they say? The so-called medical professionals at this establishment have just informed me that they cannot remove these metal arms ever. The explosion fused them with my nervous system. I'm stuck like this for life. I'm sure you can still... Still what? Still be an outcast? This accident has made me more of a freak than I already was. My small-minded peers have mocked my differences since youth. These will only give them more cause. My Uncle Ben used to say that accidents can either be endings or beginnings. <sighs> Your uncle clearly wasn't a scientist. No. But he wasn't a quitter either. Sure, you can give up and sulk for the rest of your life, but you should know, no matter what's happened to you, there are people out there, like Gwen and the students at Horizon, who believe in you. Who think you can change the world. Maybe even as a hero. And what do you think, Parker? I think they're right. I, uh, I don't know. I'm not even sure how to stop Crimson Dynamo if she comes back. Why would she come back? I evaluated her armor during the attack. It's an inefficient design. The fuel rods I invented for my generator would maximize her suit. Giving her a major power upgrade. But the generator was destroyed. The one at the school was, yes. But my earlier prototypes, Riot 1 and 2, are in off-site storage. They give off a smaller signature, but she'll detect them eventually then there's a good chance we know where she's going to be, and we'll have a chance to stop her. Spider-Man will take care of it, I'm sure. I have nothing to offer. Ugh, stakeouts are boring. Three hours and nada. I've got to remember to borrow Miles' gamepad next time. Huh. And my brilliantly designed tracer couldn't be more useless. According to this, she's right behind me, which is not true, or my spider sense would do that. Leave. I do not want to hurt you or anyone, but I will if I must. I have to say, you're not doing great on the hurt nobody front. A brilliant scientist is in the hospital because of you. They tried to deny me what I needed. I was a victim in my country. Mobsters took everything I had, even my family's land. I seized this armor so that I will never be vulnerable again! The power source is the key to unlocking features of the armor that cannot be generated with conventional energy. I will use that extra strength to become rich so that no one will push me or my family around again! I lost someone I cared about to crime, so I know what it feels like to be powerless. But you don't fight crime with more crime. You fight crime by becoming a hero! A hero? I am a thief! Recently, the meanest guy I know saved my life. Sometimes people surprise you. Yes, they do. They act like friends, and then they betray you! I can't let you take that! You can't stop me! You look like a nightlight. Am I supposed to be impressed? Okay, I'm a little impressed. Like that? Try this. I finally have enough power to use them. Dynamo drones, launch! Now you know what I speak of, Spider-Man. Strength. When Dr. Octavius asks, I am so telling him you broke all this stuff. Note to self. Always beat the bad guy before they get a massive power upgrade. Crimson Dynamo, you're new to New York, right? Instead of fighting, how about I take you on tour? Show you the sights, catch a show? I'll take that as a no thank you, Spidey. Whoa. Huh? Auto? Awesome. You are trying to purloin what does not belong to you. You now face the octopus! You again. You believe metal arms are power? 
Drones, attack! You saved me. Again. Who's the superhero here, me or you? The least likeliest student helped make me aware I was not as helpless as I thought. But I am no hero. I merely came to protect my property. As the octopus, huh? It is an expression of wry humor, playing off the first syllable of my last name and referencing the number of limbs I now possess. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> if it weren't for you, I'd be toast. Spider toast. Which is gross. So thank you. Nevertheless, we failed. Crimson Dynamo escaped with my technology and can utilize it for any nefarious purpose that she pleases. I managed to plant a tracer on her, but it's not working. Bring your amateurish device back to my lab, where I am certain I can correct its flaws. <gasps> you mean a team-up? Mm, more of a temporary, very limited partnership that I will most likely regret. Not as catchy. Hmm. This tracer's circuit is not as incompetently assembled as I assumed. But even a malfunctioning timepiece displays a correct chrono reading twice daily. I take it your PhD isn't in giving compliments. Hey, I found something on the Crimson Dynamo. Government designs, as I deduced? Yep. The armor was designed to protect people, but was recently stolen by a Galina Nermorovsky. A civilian. Mm. Then she is likely untrained in the finer aspects of the armor. Hmm. Perhaps she's incorrectly cycled the armor's junction boxes, resulting in interference with your tracer. There. I have made the proper adjustment. Doc, you're a genius. <sighs> Why do people say that with such surprise in their voices? The vault should be right... there. Trying to rob a bank? Don't bank on it. So you have to come up with one-liners like that when you're a hero. It helps sell your good guyness. <sighs> the octopus and his sidekick, Spider-Man? His sidekick? He's been doing this for like an hour. Two hours. Enough! <laughs> we need to wrap this up before she causes significant damage. Damage? I'll show you damage. Sheesh! Uh... <laughs> Instead of Crimson Dynamo, I'm gonna start calling you Collateral Damage. That way you don't have to change the monogram on your towels. You are but a petty annoyance. An annoyance for certain, but for the moment, he is my ally. You and your ally are tiresome. Your this will keep you busy. Save those clueless adults. You must stop Crimson Dynamo. Auto saving people on purpose. It's a crazy world. I'm sorry for what happened to you, Galena. From what you said, it sounds like you lost a lot. But you can choose whether that makes you a hero or a villain. I've made my choice. My tracer! Ox said something on your armor interfered with it. Is the opposite true? Can my tracer interfere with your armor? Your tracer! What are you doing? worked! I wonder if I could get extra credit for this. Your task appears... Complete. Is that Octavius for good job? What do we do at this juncture? I usually leave a note for the police and get out. Uh, got a pen? We got the bad guy. Nice team up, Octopus. I achieved my desired intention. Retrieving that which is mine. Don't think I didn't see you save those people, Doc. That had nothing to do with getting your tech back. Face it, you're a hero.
Hmm. Perhaps. Never doubted it. You realize the world's meanest teacher is still gonna give us that killer quiz, right? We should be so lucky. He just got out of the hospital. He'll probably want to take it easy for a while. I wouldn't be surprised if Dr. Octavius is a little kinder now. People can choose to change. <laughs> because you are all no doubt wondering, no, I will not be giving you a pop quiz. Oh. I will be giving you two of them. Oh. Huh? Peter Parker, I need to see you. Mr. Parker, I know your secret. You... you do? Spider-Man, put this tracer on Crimson Dynamo. Did you really think I would not recognize the project you built for my electrical engineering class? Parker, I know that you are building tech for Spider-Man. Oh, uh, yeah. I've helped Spidey once or twice, I guess. Interesting. Having a brilliant mind of my own, I have no need for outside contributions. Perhaps one would say that makes me the superior hero. Good to have you back, Dr. Octavius.